Can I ask the Minister for Health the number of persons waiting for a psychology appointment in primary care and the number of people waiting for longer than one year? Uh, Minister, two minutes. Yeah, Grand Marcus. Um, some 8,415 people are awaiting a psychology appointment nationally, of which 2,584 are waiting for over a year. About 80% of those waiting are in the 5 to 17 year age group. The HSE is a service improvement initiative underway for psychology services, which includes the recruitment of an additional 22 psychologist posts and 114 assistant psychology posts. These posts were advertised recently. A cross-divisional working group, including the Mental Health Division, is working to ensure standardised delivery of service, setting out and communicating the arrangements for care pathways and reporting of metrics. Each CHO has been requested to submit a short-term action plan to address waiting lists and priority areas as part of the Service Improvement Initiative. Other developments in this area include the counselling and primary care service for adults over 18 years who are medical card holders, a greater awareness of fostering mental health promotion in society through campaigns like the Let's Talk and the Little Things campaign, implementing the suicide prevention strategy Connecting for Life, the ongoing reduction of child and adolescent mental health services waiting lists for those waiting over 12 months, the development of counselling services across both primary and secondary care, including early intervention at primary care level, and the opening of new jigsaw youth mental health services, bringing the total number of these services uh, to date in the country to 13. Dr. Margaret. Talk to one minute. Thank you, Minister. Uh, uh, it's 25 years since Ireland signed up to the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child. The statistics show that of the 8,000 on the waiting list, almost 6,000 of them are children, with over, almost 2,000 waiting for over a year for primary care psychological services. And this was at the end of June 2017. I think it's fair to say that the figures like those are clear evidence that there is a crisis in the provision of mental health services for children in the community. The fact is almost one in three children are waiting for an appointment for over one year. And I think it's simply unacceptable that children have to wait for this length of time to get their first appointment just to assess where, where they are at or what supports they need. Vulnerable children and teenagers need this service and there is an obligation to provide it. We know there are significant regional variations across the country, depending on where you are, and there's effectively an air code lottery there. Uh, in my own county of Wexford, there are 230 youngsters waiting for over a year. Cork has 456 in the same category, and Galway has 208, but there are similar lists across the country. Uh, I wonder, Minister, could you address some of those key points? Minister, one minute. Thank you, Mark, but again, um, yeah, I can indeed, Deputy. It's, it's an issue of intrigue for me, the waiting list and the numbers behind it. I'm not quite like the Taoiseach with a complete fascination with statistics, but at the same time, uh, there is more to these figures when you go look at them. And the more I've looked at them since I've come into this role, uh, it's the, the myriad of factors that underlie these numbers and why people are waiting so long. For example, a detailed examination has shown one of the reasons for the number of people waiting over 12 months, the most prevalent reason is the lack of client availability. In other words, they're not turning up for their appointments. Because I do think there needs to be a, a type of one-stop shop for a first appointment where somebody can be put onto the correct list. We have children waiting uh, for ages for NIPs and then to be told you should have been on CAMS. We have people waiting for ages on CAMS to be told you need to be somewhere else. Um, I have uh, informed of a, of a parent who is actually terrified that their child is going to be diagnosed with autism. They are getting the supports need actually within CAMS, but if the child is diagnosed with autism, they're going to be ripped out of that list, put onto another list where the supports aren't there. There needs to be a situation where there's a child-centred approach, where a child is given maybe a first assessment, so they are putting, at least put onto the right list and then given the appropriate supports, but where the centre is focused on the child. And then this kind of system where you have different lists, nobody's talking to each other, and children end up waiting uh, uh, sometimes up to three years for a first appointment, which is simply unacceptable.